Hi guys, I hope you are doing well. So today we are going to see two virtual fields that are mostly used in Business Central AL programming. Those are flow fields and the flow filter. Basically, flow fields displays the result of the calculations which described in the calf cal calculation cal formula property. So information in flow fields exists only at runtime. That means values in the flow fields are automatically initialized to zero. So we there are seven types which in uh, which are available in cal formula property: sum, average, count, min, max, lookup, exit. And flow filter is the fields to set ranges on the calculation that are shown in flow fields only. Basically, flow filter is flow filters is only to apply filter on flow fields. So I'd like to show some example so which I have created uh, uh, for shale shipment line in this example so I need to get the quantity that is sold for a customer and an item to do this you can create a flow field with calculation cal formula to get sum of the quantity from sales shipment lines so for that example i am taking as item number customer number and the quantity sold so basically we will, we need to get the total quantity from item uh, from customer which he sold the item number uh, item sorry item so I'm taking on the quantity sold so I'm taking field class as a flow field so which is should be always editable false in the calci formula I'm taking as a sum sales shipment line quantity where number equals item number customer number equals to sell to customer number and type is cost of item and I need to filter out based on the location so I need to filter out the quantity sold to the customer so I'm taking as a flow filter for location so I am describing that flow filter to flow field so in this way so we can achieve the quantity sold for customer and the item so I'll publish this so now I'm published to the business center So now it's got published. So we'll go to the flow field page. And this it's blank. So I'll create a new. So I'm taking this first item with that particular customer. So I'll get this much of quantity sold. Say for example, if I take another one for another customer, I'll get 120 t 120 quantity sold so if i click on this it will be look up into that sales shipment line so these are the filters which is applied for that so i'll come back here this is how the flow field works so coming back to the flow filter so i'll go to flow filter here and i'll go to filter total by so in this we can see that location filter so i'll take this best location so if you see here the value got changed to 10 and this as zero because for this location there is no quantity has sold there is no entry 
for this there is one tree which has 10 quantity which is sold this is how the flow filter works and the flow field works how we are going to apply the flow filter to flow fields if you like this if you like the content please do subscribe for my channel to get more videos on it thank you